If you're here, it's because you know who I am. Kick-Ass, the first real superhero in all that crap. Although technically, Mindy and her dad were the first. Hit Girl and Big Daddy. They're not as famous, but, well, they were a lot closer than I was to being super famous. And if I was famous before, just imagine after the incident with the little family and more red mist. Unfortunately, we also suffered casualties. Mindy lost Big Daddy. After that, she went to live with Marcus, a friend of her dad's. A good guy to tell the truth. He made her promise that she would give up his life, but I needed something more. The next logical step was a group of superheroes, and I needed to... Seriously, I'm getting sick of this. First of all, why aren't you working out in this disgusting dump? This area is controlled by Shorty Wallace, a small-time dealer. He runs the car shop over there. Let's just say that this is the perfect place for your first... field test. New test? What are you talking about? Uh, you really want me to walk into that shop and start trading punches with those guys? Just like that? Don't be so chicken, Dave. When I was your age, my kill list was longer than Manfred von Richthofen's. Manfred who? The Red Baron, you dope. Right. You forget that my dad didn't train me from the time I could walk to become a children's version of the Punisher. But what the fuck is that? This is offensive! Some kid might see that! No strong language in the streets, fellas! Get cast. Shorty and his gang are all shut up in the shop. Go up to the roof and use a taser. What am I supposed to do with a taser? Short out the electricity and jump into the shop by breaking the glass of the skylight. Then take advantage of the confusion to neutralize your enemies, Batman style. What? Are you kidding? Of course you fucking moron! You short out the generator, and when everything's dark and they come out, you come down and whip their butts. Hitler, I see some goths on the basketball court down there. Uh-huh. Goths on a basketball court. Perfect. Tell me if you see Spike Lee attending a meeting of the Ku Klux Klan. I'm serious! And they're attacking a masked hero! I've got to go help him. Who the hell do you think you are? A Parker expert? If you jump from that height, you'll break both your legs. Like it or not, the fastest way down to that basketball court is through Shorter's garage. Calm down and follow the plan. Shit! What the hell happened to the fucking power? It was me! Your drug empire is over, Shorty. Drug empire? Who the fuck you think I am? Tony Montana? Where the hell did that guy come from? It's Kick-Ass! He's some kind of superhero or something like that. Shit! Are you okay, Kick-Ass? Are you hurt? Hurt? Of course not. It's just that these jerks from the shop are covered in grease and motor oil. Grease? What? I'm ruining my suit! Did you know a grease stain comes out worse than blood? What is this, a fucking Tide commercial? Keep moving, you idiot! Hey, how lucky! I'm picking up a Wi-Fi signal nearby. Weren't you in a hurry to save that masked guy, Kick-Ass? It'll just be a second. I'm a media sensation here, girl. I owe it to my fans. Shit! It's Dr. Gravity! Dr. Gravity? What kind of name is that? It's not like he's the new leader of Spectre or something. Don't tell me. Hit girl, he's another superhero like us and we've got to help him. Like hell he's like us. Don't compare me with your bunch of masked idiots with profiles on the social networks. Back off, you bastards. If you don't want me to send you flying, leave him alone, you sorry ass goths. Well, well, look what we've got here. Another twerp dressed in Technicolor. And we don't like Technicolor dressed twerps, right guys? Oh, of course. You guys like to use your mama's makeup and sue suits out of fucking trash bags. You're dead, you piece of shit. Dr. Gravity, are you okay? Well, I feel like shit, but I think I'll survive. Who are those fucking gods? For the last few days, these gangs of gods have been attacking every masked hero they run into. They surprised me when I was on patrol and chased me until they cornered me on the basketball courts. I'll make sure those sons of bitches don't get away, man. Write down my cell number. We'll keep in contact. Hit girl, I'm trying to catch the goths that attack Dr. Gravity. Okay, I think I saw another of their gangs. I'm gonna follow them, and as soon as I know something, I'll get back to you. Be careful, hit girl. Fucking goths! This city looks like the setting for a concert by The Cure. They're everywhere. I don't know if you heard that beat-up banana jackhammer in the subway. Banana jackhammer? What kind of porno flick did that guy come from? He uses that name because he carries a jackhammer and wears yellow, Mr. Filthy Mind. Oh. Kick-ass. I have to warn Colonel Stars and Stripes. This aggression cannot go unpunished. Colonel Stars and Stripes? I don't know him. He's a hero like in the old days, man. An honest guy. A straight arrow. Mr. Perfect. He's the leader of our group. Who? Are you talking about a group of superheroes? Of course. Justice forever, man. Hell, the Colonel thought that there were enough of us to set up our own group and take charge. You should drop by our headquarters sometime. You can count on it, man. Hey, Cass, I managed to get one of them to talk. Although he's going to need a lot less black nail polish now that I've ripped off three of his fingers. Jesus. Shitty aesthetics and pseudo-nihilistic crap apart, these guys work like a well-organized group. They follow the orders of their leader, a guy called Black Death. Their only rule is to act as a group and beat up all the masked crusaders they cross paths with. 
Their headquarters is near an abandoned subway station. Then I'll head to the subway, hit girl. Hit girl, I'm in the subway. Okay, if you want to reach the city hall station, you're gonna have to cross the rails. The fucking subway rails? Are you nuts? I could get fucking run over. You want to stop that bunch of morons in makeup, don't you? Well, that's the only way. Yeah, but shit, Mindy. Couldn't you come with me? Get gas. I've told you a thousand times. Never use my real name when we're on duty, not even over the phone. If I don't get back home in ten minutes, you know who will find out I've been working out with you. And you know what would happen next. You're on your own this time. But you've done all right so far. Damn. Shit. This station is a fucking labyrinth. Ha. Use your spider sense to orient yourself, tough guy. Ha. The spider sense detects danger. It doesn't orient you. I know that, dummy. It was just a joke. Use common sense then. Or don't you have that either? <laughs> you should never have come here, fool. When we're done with you, the only thing left will be your feet. Lying in disgusting pools of blood and mud. Get the crap you hit around, fool. Silence! You'll be food for worms and rats. The Black Death looms over you. Welcome to your tomb. Damn, that last line is from the first boss in Outer Beast. What? Damn, well. Welcome to your... To your... To your getting your ass whipped, you son of a bitch. Well, that one's me. Don't even think about getting up unless you won these fucking bolts. That's the wish, Kickass. You may have won the first battle, but we will win the war. We will eliminate you all. Not one masked freak will remain standing in this city. Well, now you're wearing a mask too. Damn it. You know what I mean. Masked good guys. Shit, man. What do you want? I'm just following orders. The rich nutcase makes me to say this crap. The rich nutcase? Who? I don't know him personally. He says it's too soon to have a good name. The big idiot says he's going to become the first supervillain in history. Oh yeah? Well, that dumb shit's gonna have to be the first supervillain in history. A few days after, Marcus found out about Mindy's latest feats before we could meet up with Dr. Gravity's pals. He forced her to fulfill the promise she'd made to him. No more superheroes. But me? I couldn't believe my eyes. Those guys had a headquarters like the Avengers or the Justice League. I already knew Dr. Gravity. They introduced me in Night Bitch. The girl who became a masked vigilante when somebody murdered her sister. Remember Tommy, where the parents of the kid who was kidnapped years ago. And the insect man, who had been fucked over all his life because he was gay. And Battle Guy, turned out to be my buddy Marty Eisenberg. The stupid jerk had made up a story about his parents being murdered in order to join the group. Although that didn't seem to matter to their leader. Colonel Stars and Stripes, former mafia hitman, and born again Christian, and the coolest fucking guy I've ever met. Kick ass. It would be a great honor if you join us. Yeah! Kickass, our objective tonight is Jimmy Kim, alias Genghis Carnage. Genghis Carnage? Lately, the bad guys sure are going for simplistic racial stereotypes. Well, anyway, Carnage runs one of those Chinese triad's biggest prostitution rings. What bastards! They've got a brothel in Chinatown. Today, we'll pay Mr. Carnage a visit to try and reason with him and convince him to give up such bad business practices. We'll meet up at the brothel. Justice forever. <laughs> It must be a big responsibility to be the leader of Justice Forever, huh, Colonel? Well, I'm used to it. I ran bigger groups when I was a hitman for the D'Amico family. A hitman from the D'Am... Shit. How'd you go from that to being a superhero? I met somebody who came from beyond the heavens, died for us, and rose again to save us. You met some Goku? Okay, okay, I was just kidding. We're talking about Jesus Christ, of course. I still can't believe that I'm on a mission with a group of superheroes, Colonel. I've fulfilled one of my three big dreams. Now I just need for Hasbro to release a series of action figures based on me and to fuck Scarlett Johansson. What did you say? After marrying her first, of course. Oh, that's better. Colonel, I'm on the roof. I'm gonna keep going in the direction of the whorehouse. Get down as soon as you can. I'm seeing more and more of Carnage's goons. I'm gonna need your help. You can count on it, Colonel. Colonel, I think there are some gang members around here that I beat the shit out of a few days ago. You need help? Nah. I got these punks under control. Shit, these guys are heavily armed. First time fighting guys with fire guns? Yes. Well, not really. But the other time I had a rocket launcher. Well, well. So it was you who left me without a job, right? Huh. Colonel, you know what? I'm going through a meat warehouse. Don't you get it? The eye of the tiger. Stallone punching slabs of meat. Kick ass. Eye of the Tiger is the song from Rocky Three. The meat scene is in Rocky One. Oh, yeah, that's right. But Ivan Drago was in both of them, wasn't he? Oh, man. I was just pulling your leg, Colonel. Kick ass, be careful. It's pouring rain. No props, Colonel. My wetsuit is 100% waterproof. I'm not worried about you catching a cold. I'm worried about you slipping and busting your head, kid. What are these guys doing in Chinatown at these hours? Gang fights between the triads and local thugs. 
Nothing out of the extraordinary. Nothing out of the extraordinary? Oh my god. Kick ass. Did you manage to talk with Hit Girl? Nah, she's not picking my calls. She promised her stepfather she wouldn't get into trouble again. What a shame. She'd be a great recruit for Just a Forever. Hi! What the fuck? The game's over, Carnage! What the fuck are you? I'm the good guy. The dead guy? That's why I put you butcher your guts. Really? First Black Death was going to give us a Black Death, and now Carnage wants to butcher us. Any of you nutcases called Lady BJ? Because I'm just dying to beat on her. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where are the g- girls, Carnage? Screw you, you old fucking wrong danger. Hike. You see, it wasn't so hard to talk. Oh, you'll oh, be sorry. What, what is Oh, we'll take care of you. Oh. The motherfucker? He might be the guy Black Death told us about. The one who wanted to be the first supervillain. Forget about it. I'm not going to say that name. Let's go. We have plenty to do besides battling evil. Being a superhero means helping people. And he was right. A lot of the time there wasn't much action. Most nights we work as volunteers at soup kitchens or we help distribute missing people posters. That's what being a group of superheroes was. We were justice forever. Colonel? Kick-Ass here. All quiet in the subway except for stopping and mugging. Excellent, Kick-Ass. Return to headquarters. Hey, what's that? Watch out! Watch out! Hit the dirt! Colonel? What's going on, Colonel? Help! Colonel! Colonel! Hey, that's Kick-Ass. What's the hurry, buddy? Who the hell are you? The motherfucker sends his regards. Give me his regards in person if you got the balls. Colonel, how are you guys? We're holding out for now, but I don't know how much longer we can fight them off. Where are you? I just got out of the subway. Good. Come to headquarters as fast as you can. We're under siege. I'll be there in a sec. Colonel, how's it going? We're holding out. Insect Man is already here, and Dr. Gravity is on the way too. But more and more of these mass freaks are arriving. Hurry up! Colonel? You're at the entrance. Colonel! Colonel! He's not answering. Jesus! What kind of Dolph Lundgren, Bridget Nielsen hybrid are you, for Christ's sake? I am Mother Russia. Be really careful with her, kick ass. That woman is very dangerous. Mother Russia? Shouldn't you call yourself Soviet Mother or something like that? I mean, you're wearing the sickle and hammer on her. <laughs> very funny. I'm going to teach you sickle and hammer for real, boy. Not bad for an amateur. You know what? I'd like to see what you turds can do against heavy artillery. Watch out! No! Fucking Russian whore! Well, well, Mother Russia. Seems we've killed Colonel Stars and Stripes. What a shitty name, by the way. It's like a copy of Captain America by Rob Liefeld. Where's the big boat? You motherfucker! The motherfucker in the flesh, Dave. You'll soon reunite with that trick colonel, because I'm gonna wipe out all of you mass freaks and kids. New York will tremble when it hears my name. What a shame. We'll just have to leave this for another occasion, won't we? See you around, more. Oh, I couldn't help feeling responsible. The least I could do was to give Colonel Stars and Stripes the send-off he deserved. I'm sorry, Dave. I should have been there, but... I know. You promised Marcus. I understand. Dave! Duck! Shit! Shit! What are we gonna do? Damn it! you're supposed to be a fucking superhero. Act like a superhero! Fuck yeah! I'm ready, let's... Shit, you're efficient. Where the hell did you get that suit from, hit girl? From a fucking telephone booth. What does that matter now? We've got to get out of here fast as shit. Go first, I'll follow you. And what are we supposed to do now? Look for answers. Beat up bad guys. Catch the guy responsible for this by the balls and cut him off. Fry him up and make him eat him. Hm. I like that plan. It's obvious that Krista Mako is behind this attack. And I'm sure he's got something else planned. Son of a bitch. What a pity I didn't kill him when I had the chance. Pity? It was pity that saved your hand. Many that live deserve death. Many that die deserve life. Can you give it to them, Kick-Ass? What? I don't... I don't understand. I'm pulling your leg, idiot. I was ripping off the Lord of the Rings. Of course you should have killed that fucking crybaby. Shit! The cops! I knew this was gonna happen. What should I do, hit girl? My dad made me swear I would never hurt an officer in uniform, but there's no time to explain anything to them now. Let him have it, Kick-Ass. Son of a big... Where's Kick-Ass hiding? Where did anybody fucking know that Hit-Girl was here? You pay for what you've done, Fatso! Damn it! Damn it! It's here! Get up, boy! It's me, Tactic Bigger Cunt! Shield the tumor! But remember, the motherfucker wants us to take the kid alive! hit you're not gonna believe this. Those bastards have a boss, a fat little midget. 
He wears a sort of radiation suit. Does he have a silly mustache? Yeah. How do you... The gnome in the radioactive suit. I know who he is. His name's Big Tony. He was one of Frank Stamico's trusted lieutenants. My dad and I were on his trail for a while. Another fucking criminal dressed as a supervillain. Chris D'Amico has definitely lost his marbles. Shit, I think he escaped down the sewer. Head girl! Then it's time to do our ninja turtle act. We'll have to surround him in the sewers. Yuck. Damn, that fucking stinks! Imagine you're in the scene at the dump in the Death Star and quit complaining. How are we gonna stop them, Hit Girl? Chris D'Amico's got a fucking army. You kidding? Those super loonies you run around with have been waiting all their lives for something like this. The secret war is in real life. I hope so, because we're gonna need help. Lots of help. Only a dipshit like the tumor would think of going through the sewers. Did you get it? He's a dipshit, and sewers are full of shit. Wow, you're a pure sparkling wit. Hit Girl, you're not gonna believe this. Reach the subway from the sewer. Again! Of course. What did you expect? Well, I always thought that only happened in video games. You know, the cheap way to make similar scenes. I'm getting out the subway. Those tumor henchmen are near. Make sure he doesn't escape. I'm near too. That motherfucking midget is going to regret being born. That's for sure. Shit! He's getting away through Central Park! Hmm. I wonder what took him there. Maybe he wants to meet up with the pigeon lady in Home Alone too. How the hell should I know? Uh, what you say we find him and we bust his nuts until he tells us? Jesus, I'm starving. I need the whole hot dog kiosk. How can you think about food right now, Kikas? With all this thing with the colonel, I haven't eaten in days. Rip that bastard's entrails and feast on them then. Wow, that was gore even for you, hip girl. Hip girl, this is full of police. They must be trailing the tumor. Can you avoid them? I don't think so. I'm sorry for them then, but they're in charge of their medical insurance. You're gonna keep running now? You're not such hot shit without your thugs around, are you? You think I spit it over here to invite you to the tavern on the green, you twerp? Now you're gonna eat radiation and... Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna die of a tumor. Is that right? You're more predictable than the villains of the fucking Power Rangers. Enough chit-chat. Let's get down to business, Cancer Face. You want more, Tabby Tumor? We know Chris D'Amico is the motherfucker. Where's he hiding? Suck my dick. Let me take care of this. I've got some pliers. I'm going to make this guy eat his own dick. Remember Abogribe Tumor? That's going to look like a time massage compared to what I'm going to do to you. The tumor squealed. The motherfucker was preparing a devastating attack right in the middle of New York. We barely had time to prevent it. It's time. Let's go. <laughs> do as much damage as you can, toxic mega cunts. Chris D'Amico, surrender, you asshole. Are you really this stupid? There's like two of you and an army of us. Do you seriously have such a hard on to die? No, that's why we brought our friends. Where are we standing around for? Take them down. Hey, Kaz, I'm going up ahead to get Mother Russia. You make sure Chris D'Amico doesn't get away. Hit girl, be careful with that Russian giant. Seriously. Meh, I've faced worse things. No, you haven't. Not like that monster. She's Zangief with tits and an eye patch. Trust me, Powderpuff. He's got a fucking hideout. What a fucking lunatic. Didn't you guys have a headquarters? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Shit, we did it first. Great argument. Hit girl. Are you alright? She's good, but she depends on her weapons too much. What happens when someone takes away her toys? Come on, hit girl! Answer me! <laughs> you are right. That bitch is made of steel. We're gonna be that ugly face of yours, so you will no longer look like Rod Stewart, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Ouch. I'm a former spetnut, the old KGB. I'm trained in Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, Savat, and Krav Maga. Do you really think you have a chance against me? There's always a last resort. You think you can kill me with a little needle? That's not what it's for. The motherfucker has a shark in here. A fucking shark. He has definitely lost his marbles. What the fuck does he intend to do? Trap us and hang us head first over the shark? Maybe he wants to put a laser on it like Dr. Evil. Fucking maniac. You're a fucking wuss, kick-ass. Where's the fun in wearing a mask if you can't do whatever you feel like? We want to do good. No, people want to win the lottery. People want to fuck Scarlett Johansson. Nobody wants to risk their life for some moron who went for a stroll in the projects. I do. Okay, you win the asshole award. Yeah, yeah, hit me harder. Come on! You can't kill me! What the hell's the matter with you, you fucking psychopath? This is real life, not some damn comic book! 
Let me do to death. There won't be any sequels. Shut up and fucking die. Dave. Dave, wait. Did it, man. He'd be proud of you, of all of us. One last time for the Colono. Justice, Justice forever. forever. That's how it ended. Mindy left New York. She said she couldn't put Marcus in that position. When she left, I understood where my life was going. I understood that superheroes can't exist in the real world because the real world needs real heroes, and not just some punk that lets plain dress up, but a genuine badass who can really kick ass. <laughs>